Hello, my name is Warren. I have an opinion, a camera, and access to YouTube. I'm reviewing one movie a week in a second-run discount theater. I pay no more than a buck, buck fifty to see it, and really the whole point of it is to just give my personal opinion as a, as a film uh, buff if the movie is worth seeing on any merits, whether you like the person in it, the person directed it, the genre it's in, or someone recommended it to you. Is it really worth seeing? And today I saw uh, Die Hard 5, Good Day to Die Hard, McLean, uh, and uh, you know, I didn't like it. I really, it was pretty, uh, pretty sloppy. I don't know, like, okay, uh, here's, here's the thing. I've seen all of the Die Hards. I haven't seen Die Hard 3. That being said, I think Die Hard 4 is the best one. Live Free Die Hard. Uh, I know it's PG-13. I know it's got Justin Long in it, but it's just so, like, the movie was just how do we one up every scene and how do we one up the last three movies and they just do uh, I love how it's just non-stop escalation the whole time and like the the idea of you know technology being the thing that they're wiping out and whatnot it was it was it was way over the top all the time and I loved it it never once put the brakes on and I thought that was awesome it just it just let go of everything and just threw everything at the table and it worked. I thought it worked. Uh, so, if I'd recommend any diehards, obviously the originals are, you know, worthy of checking out no matter who you are. But Die Hard 4, really good movie. Um, Die Hard 5, ooh, not so much. Uh, the whole movie is based upon John McClane interrupting his son in a mission and basically blowing the whole mission. Like, it takes five minutes and the whole mission's blown and the whole movie is based upon a plan B and all the plans failing and the exposition dumping is bad the like they use sound bites from Bruce Willis like he says like it's almost like a drinking game like anytime he goes Jesus Christ or Jesus you know just take a shot and he doesn't see he only says them like the first half of the movie it's only an hour and a half long um, during the first half of the movie, he says it a lot. Like, you'd be pretty sloshed by the first half of the movie's over. Uh, second half, he only says it, like, once. But uh, his son, the guy who plays his son, I mean, he, I don't know if he's bad at reading or if the script was bad, but there's a lot of times where he'll kind of say the same thing twice in a row. And, or, like, even worse, there's a scene where he says, all right, like, five times, just right in a row. Like, all right, listen, all right, now here's what we're going to do, all right? Now you just sit here, all right? You got me? All right. And I'm like, oh, I, I, just stuff like that bothers me. I feel that's bad, that's bad scripting, that's bad, you know, it, acting, it, it, whatever it might have been. There's something was the ball was dropped there, uh, and that's what the whole movie is. It's just there's there's good action bits. Don't get me wrong. The beginning, the the this chase that happens after McLean bumps into his son, John and Jack, John McLean and Jack McLean, which is just, um, anyways, the, this big old car chase happens with this armored truck and this this van and it's all taking place in Moscow and I mean it's it works sometimes but like the, the chase that I'm talking about is it was pretty cool like um, the thing is though is hundreds if not thousands of people had to have died in that chase alone because the whole time you see the van that Jack McClane's driving with this dude he's got and his dad in the back you know he's weaving in and out of traffic and stuff like that and this truck is just blowing the traffic over just Non-stop doesn't even doesn't even like slow it down. Just boom, boom, boom. Cars just flying, flying out of the frame. It it really is an entertaining scene just to watch these cars just fly out of the scene. Just by that was really cool. After that, it just goes right downhill. The whole movie just just it's just one thing after another. You just see it coming and like yes, you know it's mindless action movie. I understand that, but. There are way, way better mindless action movies out there, and they are way more fun to watch than this. This just feels like, I mean, Bruce Willis kind of looks like he's just, he's just there because he has to be. I mean, I don't know. I, I think, uh, I mean, I, I know he loves John McClane, but, you know, I, I think he was a better John McClane in Die Hard 4 than this one. I feel like in this one he's just like, well, I have to because it's, you know, it's, my franchise, I have to do it at least once every five years to keep it kind of thing. If that's the case, fine. But, like, ugh. at the end, this might be all he has left after a while, so I think he should really 
do a little bit better. If but like that's that's to say, it's not just all his fault. Everybody in this movie is just stereotypical. Like it, since they're in Russia, it's really easy to get away with bad guys being bad guys because Russians are bad. And then like towards the end of the movie, they start throwing out buzzwords. In fact, they say right in a row, three of them, they're like terrorists, WMDs, and uh, nukes. He right in the row, just he says, you know, Jack McLean says right in a row, all three buzzwords in the same breath, and I was just like, they are not even, it's just, there's no, there's no thought, it's just, let's just make a mindless action movie, Russians bad, Americans good. Granted, there was no, like, super, you know, patriotism, let's, let's pee all over the flag and wave our flag kind of stuff, there was no disrespectful patriotism, but, like, the whole time it was just, oh, you're Americans, oh, you're Russians, and I don't know. John McClane shows up, ruins things, makes things worse, suddenly it's all good at the end. I would, I mean, if you've seen all four of them, and you, if you've seen four out of the five, and you want to see the fifth one, go for it. But if you don't, if you didn't care to see it, you're not going to miss it. If you like John McClane, if you like Die Hard, I'm afraid this one would probably make you, you know, I don't know, you leave a bad taste in your mouth. So I wouldn't recommend this one, to be honest with you. I would say watch all four of the first, of the, you know, the one, two, three, and four. If you haven't seen any of them, or if you've seen all four of them, just rewatch four, three, two, or one. But uh, yeah, I mean, John McClane's a cool guy. I don't, you know, I don't hate him. Uh, I would, I'll see Die Hard Six if if they make a Die Hard Six. But um, I hope it's better than Die Hard Five because the rest are.